Dieses up, down. Dieses up, down. All around, all around. How are you, my little angels? Are you energetic? Are you happy? Are you okay today? It's your teacher, Anonseta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow, number patterns. We've just, we did yesterday number patterns. But there is something that someone must tell me. What is the difference between yesterday's numbers and today's numbers? Teacher, today they have started with counting in twos. That is nice. But what is this thing that we are missing out? Yesterday's numbers. Did you realize something about yesterday's numbers? Yesterday's numbers were in order, which means we were counting forward. And we said when someone runs to the forward direction, how do you run? You run very fast. But what if you're running in the backward direction? You run slowly because you're not sure about where you're going to step. So basically, our pattern today is counting backwards. Yesterday we did counting forward. And do you remember the way we were skipping? Now, if we skipped like this and we went to hop, step, and jump like that. So today we want to one, two, three, but in the backward direction. So let's look at our first number line. What does our first number line indicate? Our first number line, as Oscar said, it is counting in twos. But remember, we are not counting forward. We are counting going backward. Show me your backward. That is the backward. So if I start at 20, then 18, which one will be the next number? Look at the numbers here. We are on 20 and we are counting backwards. So we said 20, skip 19, 18, skip 17. Which one will be our next number? Our next number will be 16. Very good. Then we come 14, 13, 12, 11. So our next number will also be 10. So that when I'm counting, I'll say 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and a 0. We are here. Counting in. What are we counting in? Tell me something that will help us know what are we counting in. Teacher, we are counting in fives. Why? Because the numbers have a five and a zero. A five and a zero. So if this one has a five, meaning the number that is after this should have a zero. And which is that number? Remember, this is 45 and this is 55. So which is the number that has a zero that is between 45 and 55? Teacher, it is 50. Very good. So we are saying 55, 50. 45, 40, 35, pardon, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. Okay, then we have here numbers. The next one is just counting in ones. So we say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Look at the last one. What are we counting in? Teacher, we are counting in 10. Why? All the numbers are ending with a zero. So what do we say? It will be 190. Then the number next to 90 is 80. Then we have 70, 60, 50, and 40. Then 30, 20, 10, and 0. So during your own free time, I want people to go and make a nice number line at home so that you're able to skip on that number line in tens, in ones, in twos, and in fives. Are we together? So tomorrow I will ask you how was your experience when you drew the number line, when you were skipping up and down in tens, in ones, in twos, and in fives. Up to there. Any problem when it comes to number patterns counting backward using a number line? Teacher, not really. Okay. How many people have understood? Very good. So, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you in the next lesson.